I'm Becca Ironside. I'm a pelvic floor physical therapist, and I wanted to talk today about the role of the pelvic floor muscles with a person who has a diagnosis of PTSD. So post-traumatic stress disorder is a syndrome which is common to those who've lived through great trauma, and that could be witnessing a very traumatic event, being involved in a traumatic accident, being hospitalized and having medical trauma happen to you, being in the military, and also sustaining a Use either in childhood or in adulthood. So some of the facets of post-traumatic stress disorder or PTSD is hypervigilance. So you're always looking around your environment waiting for the next threat to come your way. So you're living in a constant state of anxiety because you've already lived through the trauma and that trauma is always on your shoulder sort of telling you beware, be careful. Now, interestingly, what they found about the pelvic floor muscles is they are directly impacted by having PTSD-like symptoms. So I'm going to show you with this pelvis what the pelvic floor muscles are in women. Okay, so this is a woman. These are superficial pelvic floor muscles, and these are the deep ones. So they're inside a cave. Now, the things that have to fit inside this bony pelvis are as follows, and this is for women. We have your bladder. It sits here. We have vagina, uterus, fallopian tubes, ovaries. And then in the back, we have the rectum. So you can see it's very tight. There's not a lot of space for things to go wrong. And often when there's something going on with one of these systems, it can happen to two or all of the systems. So let's start with bowel for people with PTSD. This is your rectum here. Stores all of the stool until it's ready to be released. So when the feces needs to be released, the pelvic floor muscles must open like so. For people with PTSD, these muscles are automatically tighter than they would be in the general population. So they're holding in all the anxiety, and this is gonna predispose the person with PTSD to either having diarrhea or constipation, some form of IBS. Secondly, we have the vagina, the uterus. A lot of women with PTSD, because sex and orgasm requires that these muscles be open in some fashion, they have vaginal pain or dyspareunia pain with sex as a result of tight pelvic floor muscles from PTSD. And finally, we have the bladder. A study was performed recently and it found that one in five U.S. female veterans suffered from overactive bladder. These were women in their 20s who had never had a baby. So if you look at these muscles and we look at how they must open and close and all of the bodily things that they're controlling, we can now see the relationship between a person who is hypervigilant and always worried about the next move, always guarded. So they're guarding with these muscles as well. So what's the treatment? Well, the treatment can be calming down the nervous system, going on long walks, meditation, finding psychotherapy to get to the root of your PTSD and what the trigger was for you, but finally finding a pelvic floor physical therapist. Because what we can do is discuss what specifically happened to you and what bodily uh, symptoms you're manifesting in terms of your PTSD-like symptoms. We can learn how to train you in how to release the death grip on these muscles and how to relax them and have better patterns of elimination and sex. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, hit like and subscribe. And again, find pelvic floor physical therapy if you have any further questions.